Hey guys, how's it going? Peter Day here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I want to get out a short little video um, about some advice. I was just on a bike ride and um, I thought I'd step outside here and record this video. Now, that brings me to another point. Just make sure you're um, keeping up exercise and doing hobbies that you enjoy doing, um, especially if you're a newbie or you're just starting and you're trying to make money online it could uh, maybe be very frustrating at first if it's not successful. So make sure you're clearing your mind and um, just doing things you enjoy um, doing. Now, again, the goal of this channel and these videos is to shorten the learning curve, right? So instead of you taking uh, three to five years to succeed as an affiliate marketer, maybe we can help speed up that learning curve. Maybe you can become a successful full-time affiliate marketer in six months or 12 months or something instead of two years, right? So our goal is to help shorten that learning curve because if you're new, there's a learning curve. And the question is just how long is that learning curve gonna be? So uh, when Tyler and I got started, we um, had a pretty long learning curve. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not very proud of our learning curve. Um, it took us about three years to get um, any kind of meaningful success in affiliate marketing. We struggled and struggled and we did not really make any money until year three. And I think one of the biggest mistakes we made was we were trying to learn everything ourselves. So what we were doing was um, we were watching YouTube videos, we were reading blogs, we were watching free webinars, but we never really um, got like any kind of meat and potatoes. Like we were just watching YouTube videos and it's not to say that all YouTube videos are bad, but it's like sometimes people do not reveal their biggest secrets on um, YouTube videos, right? Like, I don't know anyone who's revealing like their best um, winning campaigns or their top secret offers or whatever on like free YouTube videos, right? So the YouTube videos are great, but they only go so far. So I think one of the mistakes we made at first was we were just, for years, we were watching YouTube videos and reading blogs and we would, we would watch free webinars and then um, the webinars were teaching something and then always trying to pitch something in the end and then we never even bought the thing at the end. And um, I've said this in other videos, but there was two catalysts to our success. The first catalyst was buying a course for 2,500 bucks. This course taught us how to do ads on uh, Facebook, um, pop-up ads, and Google, and Bing ads. And um, it was a very in-depth course. Um, the course doesn't exist anymore. I mean, we bought this course about eight or nine uh, years ago, but the course was really good because we were getting some information off of watching webinars and YouTubes and stuff like that. But then the course was really instrumental because it actually taught us how to um, le legitimately run Facebook ads successfully and Bing search and Google ads successfully and um, stuff like that. So that was one of the first breakthroughs. And um, my theory is that if we had actually just gotten that course on day one, we probably could have succeeded maybe after a year or something or after six months. Like I feel like we could have had a shorter learning curve, but our learning curve ended up being about three years because we were kind of um, just screwing around trying to piece together free information. And um, so that was one big catalyst for us was just buying this course for 2,500 bucks. And then I think our biggest catalyst that we had was paying for an individual coaching. Um, we reached out to an individual about five or six years ago who's having a lot of success promoting offers as an affiliate. And um, we paid the guy about 12,000 bucks and he showed us some winning campaigns and those campaigns ended up earning millions of dollars um, almost immediately. I think it took about a year or something, but the campaigns took off. Like they started earning like $3,000 a day, $2,000 a day of profit, like very fast. And those campaigns really took off and that was, um, probably one of the biggest contributions to our success because we went from guys that were struggling for so long to guys that like every affiliate network wanted um, to have. Like we had the people at Max Bounty and just these different affiliate networks, like they were just begging to work with us because we became um, really good uh, reputation in the industry. Like everyone wanted us to promote their offers and stuff. And we had the affiliate managers hitting us up all the time. Like what can we um, get you guys running and stuff. And, um, so the, the two biggest catalysts for us was buying the course that taught us how to really do the traffic sources. And then the second catalyst was um, paying for this more kind of um, high tier 
personal coaching that kind of showed us even more nitty gritty. Like the the personal coaching, the guy showed us the exact offers he was running, where to actually sign up and get those offers. Um, and that was huge. I mean, that was like that was like 80% of the success right there, just him showing the winning um, offers. And he literally um, showed us exactly where to get them, like what offers um, to get at what networks and stuff. He gave personal introductions, helped us sign up for those good networks. And then um, he showed us his exact campaign. And um, it it was amazing. And I, I feel like he almost like regretted doing it later too, because we ended up um, just doing so much that um, who knows, it might've even started to compete with him um, because we really were kind of took it to the next level, but those were catalysts to our success. And um, in this video, I'm going to share a little tip um, because I went on a bike ride, I came back and then I was just checking Skype. And one of our students was acting a little bit like a newbie. Um, and <laughs> or how do I say this nicely, right? So um, it kind of spurred me to come outside and record a video about it because um, it's just, here's what happened. So I reached out to the student on Skype and the student was getting success running one campaign. And I really encouraged the student to run multiple campaigns and say, hey, listen, we showed you one winning campaign and it's been successful for you. But I'm like, you know how super affiliates work? They're not running one um, successful campaign. Like a super affiliate is gonna be running at least five or six successful campaigns or more. Um, and I gave him this whole spiel about how he should be running uh, multiple campaigns, multiple offers, multiple verticals. And out at the end of the whole spiel, he basically just writes back, like, thanks for your advice, but I'll let you know when I'm ready. And I'm like, really? This is someone who's been successful on one thing. So I wanted to come outside and make a video about this because this has been a super, super newbie mistake. And the newbie mistake is you get successful on one thing and that's all you want to do. And the issue with that is that if you've been around the block, you know that you've probably gotten burned over and over again doing this mistake. Because how many times have you had one successful campaign and the campaign stops profiting or the offer goes away or they don't want to buy any more leads or the offer pauses or the pay lowers? Like it's just, if you've been around the block for any period of time, you've just been burned by this mistake like over and over again. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You got comfortable running the one campaign and then after like three months or six months or whatever, that campaign went under. It stopped profiting on Facebook ads, maybe like Snapchat banned it or like, I, I have no idea. But I, if look, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like if you've been around the block, you've been there, you've done that. Now newbies have not been around the block. So the newbies, they just need to be a little bit more um, kind of listening to the teacher in a sense, right? So. Um, so if you're a newbie, you need to understand if you have a successful campaign, that's great, but it might not last forever. There's a million things that could possibly go wrong. The campaign could get paused. The Facebook ads could get too expensive. The Facebook could shut it down. The Snapchat could shut it down. The, um, person maybe might not want to buy leads anymore. The payout might go too low to profit. Like there's a million things that can go wrong. So what you want to do is congratulations that, um, you've got your first winning campaign or whatever, like congratulations that you have a winning campaign. But what you want to do is you want to be out there looking for your next winning campaign. So what you're going to be wanting to do is you want to find a winning campaign, scale it up. And then while you're riding the coattails of that campaign, be finding your next winners. And this is really common sense, but I, I don't, I think newbies are, I think some newbies are just like, Maybe they just don't have the right mindset or something. They, they don't, maybe they don't understand the back end. Maybe they just think that offers are just going to last forever or something. There's some offers that are really long term, but there's been, I mean, again, if you've been around the block, you've been there, you've done that. Offers have come, offers have gone. Um, if you can run an offer for more than a year or two, that's considered pretty good in this industry because some offers have just come and gone, right? So, um, what you want to do is, like I said, get a winning campaign, scale it up, and then be finding your next winners, your next three or four winners maybe, 
while you're riding the coattails of the first one. So then what happens is, let's say for some reason the first one stops profiting, then you've got three more that are working. And then while you're riding the coattails of those, you're finding more. Do you see, it's kind of like this ever um, uh, evolving system of finding successful offers, scaling them up, and then immediately looking for your next successful ones. Immediately, immediately. Like I, we got a new successful offer last week and I'm immediately looking for more. Like we got a new successful one last week and then this week it looks like we, it looks like we need to see how these play out, but it looks like we have two more um, successful ones, right? So it's like we found a new successful one last week and then this week we're just right back into testing new stuff and so we're riding the coattails of the one that just got successful. And now it looks like we have two more successful ones. And it's like, this is how you keep a good business in this industry. And talk about wanting to be full-time. One of the biggest questions I get from affiliates is how do I become a full-time affiliate marketer? Affiliates are so tired of working their job and then screwing around with the affiliate marketing at like six or 10 PM after their day job. And the answer to become a full-time affiliate is number one, you need to treat your business very seriously, but you need to follow these common sense principles. Like if you want to be a, a, a full-time affiliate, just finding one campaign and hoping that it doesn't die is, is, is not a good situation. I mean, that's like, um, and we've, there's been some horror stories. Like, um, we had this one idiotic student, um, <laughs> trust me, we're not mean to our students, but like, how do I, how do I describe this nicely, right? So we had this one student, this was like a couple years ago. We had this one student that got, he got one successful campaign. Now maybe the campaign was a little too big. Maybe he got a little bit too arrogant or something in his campaign. But this this student got a successful campaign a couple years ago and the campaign was pretty big. I mean, it started doing a couple thousand dollars a day of profit. And the, the student quit his entire job off of this one campaign, one campaign. He was running one campaign on Facebook. He was making him all this money. I think he got a little cocky, a little arrogant, a little prideful, whatever you want to call it. He ended up quitting his entire day job. His entire day job because he had one successful campaign. And then what happened was the campaign stopped working a couple um, months later and he was not finding additional winners. He was not running multiple verticals at the same time. He was not running multiple offers at the same time. And he came back a couple months later and he said, man, I wish that I didn't quit my job because he basically got himself into a situation where he was so juiced up from this one successful campaign that he quit his entire um, day job. He was kind of thinking this campaign was gonna last forever. He wasn't being proactive. A couple months later, it stopped profiting for him. And um, he literally said, I wish I had not quit my day job because he was basically back to where he started. He was actually worse than where he started. He was um, basically, not only was a campaign not succeeding anymore, but he didn't have a job. I mean, it's worse than where he started. So what you want to do is you need, I think the big lesson here in this video is you have to be running multiple things. If you're trying to be a full-time affiliate marketer and you're only running one offer or one vertical, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Like, I, I look, I, we're trying to be, I, don't take this as being mean or critical. Like, we are just, we've been doing this business. We've been doing, Tyler and I have been full-time affiliate marketers for the last seven out of 10 years. It took us like three years of failure. For the last seven years, we've been totally full-time, totally full-time. And we know what works, we know what doesn't work. So here's what you need to do. You need to be testing multiple offers, you need to be testing multiple campaigns, and when you find a successful one, you need to be riding the coattails of the successful one while you're finding your next winners. And it's this process of rinsing and repeating. So you find that winner, you scale it up while you're while you're riding your your um, enthusiasm while you're, while you're excited about that one, that's not the time to get comfortable. That's not the time to get comfortable. The time to get comfortable is maybe when you have so many winning campaigns that maybe you can get a little bit comfortable. But if you have one campaign, 
That's not the time to get comfortable. That's the time to be testing three or four new offers, three or four new verticals. How can you find two winners instead of one? How can you find five winners instead of one? And trust me, I don't even want to call this a newbie mistake because we have some students that I would consider even more advanced and they're still making this mistake. They're still making this mistake. I talked to a different student a couple days ago and they've still been only, you know what I mean? It's like they, ah, it's, I, I don't know what to describe it. It's like they've been profiting off of like one or two campaigns and I'm like, dude, why don't you just like, why don't you just profit off of like six or eight? It's like, I get it. Sometimes it's easier said than done, right? But it's like, even the amount of money you can make, like if you're, if you're succeeding on like six campaigns or six offers, instead of simply just one or two, I mean, that's the difference between making like 9,000 bucks a month or 20,000 a month of profit or whatever. That's the difference between earning uh, five figures a month of profit and like six figures or seven figures a month of profit is having this um, diversity, having a lot of winning campaigns and stuff. So. Um, so here's my takeaways, right? So if you're an affiliate and you've got that one winning campaign, you know who you are. It's like 90% of like most affiliates. <laughs> like I, I, It's like 90% of like every affiliate out there. They have the one winning campaign, you know? I go to a, a we, it, Corona has like prohibited conferences from even happening recently. But when we would go to affiliate conferences, we would ask people, we would ask affiliates, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, I have this good car insurance campaign like that was their entire business just like running one car insurance campaign and it's like this is a mistake that 90 percent of affiliates have been making is becoming successful in one thing being so kind of like excited about it that they're not proactively finding additional winners and then what's happened over and over again is when that one successful thing has stopped working they've gone all the way back to ground zero then they're hitting up their affiliate networks. Oh, what is your best offers? What could I be running? And it's like, it's this pattern of, of succeeding on something and then starting at ground zero over and over again. And it's so avoidable. It's so avoidable. How you avoid it is you just success, you get successful on one thing and then while you're riding the coattails of that success, you're just proactively finding your next winners. You're testing three things while the one thing is successful and then you find your second winner and then you test like four more things and then you, you find another winner. Now you have three winning things instead of one. And it's like this proactive process of finding winning campaigns. So I wanna change the mindset in affiliates. I wanna change the mindset. Stop getting comfortable with one winning campaign. Stop doing just like one one thing. Get successful on one thing. Find winners. Find additional winners. And then next thing you know, instead of one winner, you've got two, you've got three, you've got four, you've got five. It's like, this is how this business is made. You want a lot of winners, okay? And this is what's going to bring, bring really good confidence. I mean, this is also what's going to help you sleep at night if you're a full-time affiliate is knowing that you have a lot of winning campaigns. Like, if you're a full-time affiliate, like, how could you even sleep at night if you just have one winning campaign? You just, like, go to bed and hope that it's not, like, broken in the morning or something? So if you're a full-time affiliate and you have, like, anywhere from five or four to ten winning campaigns, it can help you sleep at night, too, because it's like, at least you'll wake up in the morning and know that, that all ten of your campaigns are not, like, broken or whatever, right? So... Um, this is just really um, straight to the point. I couldn't be any more blunt with these um, tips, but make sure you're finding a successful campaign. And then while riding the coattails of the success, successful one, find your next success. And then next thing you know, you got two success. And it is just make this your new mindset and you'll be a heck of a lot more successful. And, um, and it will probably help breed like more full-time affiliates too, because it's really hard for people to be a full-time affiliate if they're just screwing around with one campaign. So it's like, even with our coaching, like if we can coach our students how to have this mindset, we're probably gonna um, churn out more really successful full-time affiliates too um, with this, this um, uh, I don't even know, what do we call the mindset? Uh, the common sense, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> just whatever we wanna call this mindset, just make this your new mindset. Find the winner, be testing other things, 
and make it a point to have at least two or three winners instead of one, at least four or five winners instead of one, whatever it is. Have many, many winners going on, and that's what's gonna give you good stability, good diversity, good long-term success. That's what could potentially bring a six or seven figure monthly or yearly business instead of a five figure one or whatever it is. It's like, this is one of the key, key strategies, guys. So. And this is the type of stuff we would normally train on at like a mastermind when we have people around a round table and we're, it's like this is the breakthrough that people get from masterminds and stuff. And obviously we haven't even gone to a mastermind in like six months because of Corona, but we're giving away this information for free on YouTube. So take it, adapt this mindset, make this your new mindset. And um, also make sure you scale your winners like as big as possible, right? So like once you find a winning campaign, make sure to scale that winner as big as possible, like don't screw around with it. Make sure you test it, make sure you, you're split testing and make sure it's so dialed in in every area, like ads, lander, make sure you really scale the winners really big. So then it also gives you more budget to be testing a lot, um, uh, finding new winners too on a smaller scale and scale up those. So really take advantage of the winners, scale those up big. So this is Peter, um, I'm going to New Hampshire tomorrow my brother's gonna be joining me there and um, I'll be making some videos from New Hampshire. So guys, we'll talk soon and have a good weekend and um, happy 4th of July too, if you're watching this now. If you're watching it later, um, no worries, but happy 4th of July. All right, talk soon.